meeting to order. Yeah, 602 for, for Frontier. And it's 602 for the Union. Well, Union 38. So. The first thing is to approve, review and approve the minutes. There's changes. I'll let, I'll let Ken go through the changes. He'll do both. I just, uh, in reading the minutes, noted that the uh, votes were all tabulated to include absentees as negative votes, which is not normal procedure. And also we had a uh, situation where we recorded all of the attendees for the union when in fact we only had eight voting members. So the votes have been changed to read, uh, for the uh, union, all votes are, are noted as unanimous at 800. Okay. All Frontier Regional votes, except for the vote on the minutes, are uh, 10 to no. Are 10 to nothing. Instead of, the, as noted, <coughs> what was it, 13, 5, and 0? Yeah. yeah. The, minutes, so. the minutes approved on the 31st was reflective of three voting members not here at the 703 on the first page of the minutes. And then finally, we can't be 10 and 0. Right. It, it I, has I, to be 7 and 0. 703. Uh, it has to be 8 and 0 because it's 11 and 0. But there's only 10 of us here. Lynn wasn't here. Oh, OK. So hey, Rick. No. if you have a quorum, let's see. Okay. Both of the right. attendees. Yes. And then the last change that I would note is under executive session, noting that Mr. Modesto and non-voting committee members, union committee members, were invited to attend. You have everybody? Almost? Yep. Any questions on the changes to the minutes that just noted? For Frontier, we'll accept. Second. Bill and Cindy. Mm -hmm. All in favor for voting members at Frontier? We're all voting members. Thank you. Any opposed, any extensions? I think you name this. Okay. Uh, motion here. for the, so it'll be, it'll be, it'll be 10 one Yep. I didn't see you sneak in, Lynn. Uh, motion it'll be 9-0-1. So move to the motion for the union. Can I, who said that, Trevor? Do we have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Voting members. The voting members only, I'm sorry. Uh, and opposed? Abstentions? It's unanimous. Well, Katie wasn't here last time. Ken wasn't here last time. And Jan wasn't here last time. And Ashley wasn't here, so. So you got four that weren't here, so it's whatever the vote is less at the end four. I'll okay. still vote in favor of them. Well, you weren't here. I know. I'm, I'm just still voting in favor of them. Okay, I'm, okay, so. I'm just attracted. You take yeah. care of it. Let's not spend our time here. Okay. <laughs> uh, any public comment tonight? Okay. No unfinished business, new business, uh, superintendent search process. We are at a stage where by January 30th of 2019, we have to inform Mr. Modesto of the, of the Union and Region's plans for the superintendency. Um, and uh, what we have here tonight is an agenda that uh, presents first a vote to suspend the search for a superintendent of schools and appoint an internal candidate. 
And then uh, the second step would be to appoint Darius as uh, superintendent. Uh, this, the agenda was put together this way uh, largely in, in response to the work that's been done to date by Darius. Um, and I, you know, the uh, chairs met and talked about it and said we would like to present it this way uh, given the work that he's done. Super, uh, the chairs were in agreement that we uh, are supportive of Darius as the uh, permanent sub superintendent uh, for the uh, region and union. So therefore, this is the agenda that was put, brought forward. Uh, and uh, what we've done as, as Darius, as you can see, has presented some notes on his quiet time since he started in July. <laughs> uh, well, I, you know, I found his work to be very good. I, I could support certainly uh, the, the effort, not the effort, but the decision to suspend the search and appoint our interim superintendent as the full-time superintendent. So, are you looking for a motion? I'll take whatever you want to do. Yes. Do a motion to suspend the search on behalf of the union? We have a motion to suspend the search for superintendent of schools. Who will say for the region? I'll second for the region. Second. Slow down. Judy's. Just whatever, you guys just keep talking. <coughs> Who second for the union? I will. Yes, uh, thank you, Peter. Any discussion? Oh. I just want to comment um, and actually really be transparent with all of this. Um, last year, when Darius was being considered for the interim position, I had called uh, an ethics attorney at the uh, Massachusetts Ethics Office um, just to figure out where I stood with all this. Um, but Darius and I have known each other since childhood. Um, he's a good friend of mine, and I just wanted to ensure that I was not overstepping my position, mm -hmm. my elected position. So uh, last year I did um, file a disclosure of appearance of conflict of interest form. I filed it with all four towns, as well as uh, Donna and Bob. And according to the uh, ethics attorney, I'm okay to continue my position, um, but I just want to be transparent. Does that mean you can still vote? I right? can still vote. I can still vote for any position or any um, topic, whatever that I feel that I can be unbiased. With. Thank if you. I do feel that I can't be unbiased, and I remove myself. Thank you. Thank you for that. So, Kate, can I just make a comment? I just wanted to add that when the chairs met, um, the agenda was put forward based on not just our own personal opinions of Darius's work to date, but on input we had have received from other parties at our district, so teachers, parents. Um, I just want to be mindful it's not just the chairs that are thinking he's doing a good job, but this is based on feedback of a broader nature, ideally, or at least that's, that's my understanding. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you for that. Thank you. I would concur that I have received feedback from Administrators and, and others within the schools in support of Darius's work. <clears throat> I'd like to move the question for the region. Is there any other discussion for, for Frontier? All in favor? Opposed? Stayed? Yes. <coughs> any further discussion for the union? All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Abstained? Unanimous. Thank you. Congratulations. No, no, no. That's just a good thing. One jump in. We're in house, so. Two are sitting in the audience, they never know. Next is the hiring of the superintendent. Sorry about that. We're with that. Uh, yep. I'd like Sydney? to make a motion to appoint Darius Modesto interim superintendent 
to a three-year term as superintendent of schools pending successful contract negotiations. Bob Decker would be so proud. I think there's a debate about whether it should be two years or three years. It's got to be I, at least three by I now. said three years. So I... Uh, well, can we just hold on. Why don't we get a motion? I made a motion. Did you make a, did you make a second, Phil? Olivia made the second. I Somebody think. else did, but I, I will. Olivia did. Let me talk. Hold on. Could we get yeah, we make a motion for the union of the same language? Second. Okay. Thank you. Phil? So, so um, I, I would also like to speak to the length of the contract. Um, uh, I, I would I, I would recommend. Uh, there's districts in the state, Boston, the city of Boston, I know does five years. Mm -hmm. And um, m m whether it's five years or four years, I don't think it should be three this first time. Because the reason being that as an institution, it does not, it's not optimum for us as a, as a school committee to have the expiring term of the superintendent take place the same year we negotiate all of our contracts. Mm -hmm. And that if we ever have to start over again, and I'm you know, hopefully but we won't for 50 years, but, uh, <laughs> but, 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 but what if we do? But, but if, what, if, what if we do have to start over again? You measure through your water. It, it, if we have to start over again, it does not make sense for us to be hiring somebody, have them brand new, and have to sit down and negotiate contracts for three years with everybody. And so I, I would like to see this either go to four years and then go back to three years, but we got it. I want to see it rem removed from the calendar uh, from the year that we have to do all of our contracts and uh, that's institutionally that makes sense to me you know regardless of who our superintendent is so Phil, that's that's a bit great so my current contract's a one year term position if you're going to extend my contract by three years it will then fall into an off year right so i guess what i think what, what dr campbell was trying to say earlier what was saying earlier was that are you are you doing a two-year extension to make the three years total service or are you doing a three-year three extension from, from, from the interim because you're I imagine you want it to coincide with the school year yeah. <laughs> yeah. so I have another half a year left as interim so I think negotiations what I done. What, but you want to you have to give a time limit for the negotiations to kind of do, to do so are you looking for a three and a half year contract or conclusion of this contract with a three-year extension that's exactly what I was saying there. That's what you're doing. <laughs> the, new, the new teacher contract won't start until... But it's negotiated this year. Right. So it will, if you do a three-year extension to this contract, it will then fall into the... It'll fall. Your, your last half year will be when you're leaving. If you were to leave, you would be negotiating the contract. I think that's what we're trying to avoid. Yeah. Yeah. That's, right. so, that's sort of what you... Yeah. So right. So yeah. ignore if, if you want, if we made a revision to a okay. four-year contract, yeah. well, let's change the I mean, if somebody wants to propose an amendment to the... I would, I would amend my initial motion and uh, extend a four-year contract. So you're, you're making a motion to a motion amend for, to a four-year contract. I'll four second that. So I can make an amendment, but like, what happens if I go to five? I'll second that too. <laughs> Try it, you'll see. This is fun. I have five years. Uh, <laughs> I'm not, I'm not so worried about that. <laughs> I seriously would like to amend mine to five years and have you reconsider. So done. <coughs> to amend your amendment. Andy. Judy, you catching up on this? Uh, I think, so. well, I have Trevor and Phil on a four year contract for the union, and I have Cindy oh, who's trying to. second. second. He's not voting. Do I have a second? He can second me. Well, I need a second for the union then. Do I have a second? I'll second. Thank Elaine. you, Elaine. Thank you. Okay, and now I have Cindy and Phil Yellow. for a five year? Yep. And if I can just, you want to do something with your side first before I can talk? And that's up to my side if the. Uh, um, well, can, can anyone speak a little bit more to. Uh, Five versus the sort of traditional three in terms of sort of, I mean, you just threw out something about Boston, I think you said, but in terms of like our, or maybe you know, Darius, I mean, if you know, like what are sort of the Western Mass superintendents' typical kind of contracts? Three. What, we're trying no. try to get away from the teacher contract. I totally get that. No, I'm, I'm getting, when There's I think some I'm, fives. I'm trying to get more at the, you know, we can get away with that with four and then decide whether we are doing a big switch to back to three or to five or to five and i'm just saying curious whether that's a big jump compared with what's typically done around here or not that's all just so everyone has an idea right so there are 
districts in the state that are going to five-year contracts, I think they're trying to lock in people, and I'm not trying to persuade a five-year contract. Yeah. I'd be happy with three. Um, you know, going to four has to do with you know, your negotiation year, and that's your business decision. But um, they're just doing that because there is there's not a plethora of superintendents out there, so um, they're locking in those because they can. So. <clears throat> Bill? Yeah, this, this is superintendent number eight for me, sitting up here. And it, we've always done threes, but it, it, we've never had this kind of a situation before where we're taking, taking from within. You know, a lot of times it's a three on a person that you, that you as a result of the search, like Jack Welch was, like Lynn was, things of that nature, people you unfamiliar to. This is a different animal, but this, this is as comfortable as I've been in most of the eight. Well, Marty came with it from within. Right. Yes. Yeah, we probably couldn't have gotten Marty to take and it. I'm sure here. Here. <laughs> <laughs> and I was quite comfortable. Sorry, Gary. <laughs> 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 I'm big for no comments. So, I mean, um, the only thing about going longer is there's a lot of things at, up at play in a district like this in terms of finances, size you know, all that, that, you know, I mean, Darius may not want to go that long. He may be able to negotiate something better three years at a time, you know. Whether they're three, five, or 55, he can walk away anytime he wants to, like any other one can. The contract buys you plus very little in terms of, oh, you have to stay here for five years, now you don't. So um, I, you I didn't choose five for convenience of, um, negotiations of that. I happen to like negotiations. I wish we had it every year for teachers and all that kind of thing, process. <laughs> Sorry. But um, yeah. I did it because I, I have had a feeling of um, morale lift around here. And I've had a feeling of teamwork around here and people smiling and there's not, there's not all this back talk and backstabbing, butter knives or otherwise. Um, I just think it's a good place to be and I want to keep that good place. And if things change for Darius and he wants to move on, and if things change for us, we can have that conversation, and I hope we will be that transparent. But let's extend this so we don't have to look at this for another five years. Um, that's the uncomfortable thing, is having it approaching. The actual process I really enjoy, but having it come up um, when people are doing good jobs. And again, basically it's the morale. It has nothing to do with anything else. I just like this place again a lot. And I'd like to keep that feeling. It's all here in there. Does anybody else want to? Do you need, do you need uh, I was just going to say, would you like to revise your yes, motion to five years? Uh, second again, revise my motion. Can you second uh, that as well? I do. Okay. So we will we'll call it a five year. Anybody else, from, anybody else from Frontier on the five year? Anybody else want to say your piece? Say anything for Frontier? <coughs> All in favor? For Frontier? Opposed? Stain? This, uh, for the union, any other comments? If not, only voting members, please. All in favor? Looks like it's unanimous. Thank you very much. I mean, just thank you. I'm, I'm touched about the, you know, the looking at going to water contract because you have faith in um, hopefully the direction of the continue to move this district, which is a positive one and one that works together. And as I said in my initial, I'm starting to go straight into administrative talk. As I said in my initial interview, it really is about us working together. And so I hope that we continue to um, be transparent with each other on directions we want to see our schools go um, and working together for the common good of our communities. So just very unexpected tonight. So, Mr. Chairman. I think procedurally you may want to include in those motions that the committees respectively delegate to the chairs who are intent to enter into negotiations with Darius for five year contract. We, we are obviously not going to negotiate with him as a group. Correct. So we need to, to put the instrument in motion, which is yes. Yes. 
to be able to do it, she really enjoys it. You so don't touch it. <laughs> 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 I'm really when sad. When Cindy was sitting that. here, she could do that. Oh my right? gosh, I loved it, but I'll give it to okay. you. Okay. I just want to let you know, one year when Regina was here, I was also, for some reason, I was chair of Union 38 and chair of Frontier. So she only had one person to negotiate with. Was, for some reason that year, I was both. So I'm glad Ken's that's there. So. so your suggestion was to amend? Yeah. No, well, I actually said it right. I said pending successful contract negotiations. Oh, so we can yeah. make a motion. Yeah, yeah but I, think you ha I do think, I think you're right that you have to then confirm, yeah, like procedurally so confirm that the chairs can negotiate on behalf of the committee. Somebody made, Phil made a motion. motion for us. Yeah. Phil made the motion? Yes, I did. Second. You second. Very second. Can you clarify chairs? Is it just you two or is it all the chairs? Yeah. One for Union 38, one for Frontier. Chairs usually go into negotiations and then bring back the information to the group and then we have a discussion whether it's better, ugly, or better, or whatever. They usually set the ground for us. Usually. I would make that same motion for the Union. Did you get the language to? A hundred percent, yes. Can I get a second? <laughs> second from the Union. Second. Thank you. So that was Trevor and Ashley. 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 For Frontier, all in favor? And for the union, again, voting only. Voting members only, please. Yeah, Did you have a question, David? Yeah, yeah, I don't want to throw this into chaos. Hopefully I'm not. But um, my memory is when we hired a superintendent, everybody votes. No. Because it's the job of the whole... You mean a contract or a voting? No, no that would no. not tonight. Be not to be the same. All His recollection was that all, all members vote. When well, we're hiring a superintendent. Yeah. On the final contract. I'm, I'm to happy to take that as a secondary vote at the union level and we can check with council to see. Right. Um, my understanding uh, is we all that weighted vote and stuff mm -hmm. and all that. Right. And of course, we were frustrated because we don't have our agreements to spell that out. So to be safe, we, my recollection is that uh, one of our big jobs for everybody. But the weighted yes. vote, the weighted vote is for voting members only. Correct me if I'm wrong. That's well, frontier. That's all frontier. frontier. Okay. There's no weighting on the uh, <laughs> union no side. So uh, we can. Why don't we? We will take union votes of all members present. Uh, just to be safe, and I will get the answer, and we'll ask council okay. to, to clarify. Okay. So, so, all in favor at the union level, non voting and voting members, please. Yeah. Somebody count one. Oh, hey. There he is. So Bob seven seven is up. Tonight, I know. <laughs> 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 It was unanimous on the uh, seven yeah. appointment. Yes, too. Okay, you voted on the appointment? Yes. You're not voting on the negotiations, right? I'm going to vote on the negotiations now as well. And you got a 15 count? Yes. Thank you. And the second round union all voting and non voting. What's, what's this? Which one are we voting on? This is for the new designation of the chairs to negotiate. Yeah. And are you not going to go back and do the suspension too? Ooh, uh, good one, Judy. Good catch. We will do both. The I mean, I might have screwed up the well. count last time, but I, 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 I can't. I can't believe that <laughs> that's required. That 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 the whole thing is required. I don't right. think the whole thing is required. But to have voting members, you've got to do everything. So, yeah. well, let's just be safe. David's raising issues, so we'll <coughs> play it safe. And on the suspension, Daniel Simmons is still out. It's more time. I see unanimous vote against. Thank you. Congratulations, sir. Thank you. Sorry. The ducks here. Sorry. The ducks voted yes. So, yes. 
want to go first? Uh, the next item on the agenda would be to decide to conduct a search for a traditional business manager position or to decide a traditional search for the business manager position, either way. Uh, but this would be a, an effort to go to market, see if we get candidates that are satisfactory and, and decide on a candidate in following the normal course of events. Um, now that we have a permanent superintendent in place, it seems like a much more natural process than last year. So, I can provide. Two yeah, cents sure. if you want to make two cents. I mean, you haven't negotiated that two cents yet, but we will give it to you. Um, TMS's uh, contract with us does have extensions in it, so um, I, I do recommend that we look for a traditional, the word, you know, the bottom line is calling it a traditional versus a service agency. Um, <clears throat> um, and I've had this conversation with TMS, so it does not. Yeah weirdness of that, of talk, looking for one while having another is, we, we've had a conversation on it. Um, you know, they're providing our service this year, but I really, I miss having a, um, not knowing what it's like, because I haven't done it, but just miss having a partner at the top where you can go day in and day out, walk across the hall, fire the question. Right now, they're here a couple days a week. If you have a question, you gotta send an email, you gotta wait. It's really emergency, you gotta call them, hope they call you back. And I, if there is a candidate out there that is strong enough um, you know, I think I'd like to go back to that traditional model where you have people that are accessible to also all of you. Um, I think that I think TMS, um, at least in my vision, how I'm seeing it, it's also caused a barrier for school crew members to check in with the business manager and how to get a hold of when are they there, are you free that day? So, you know, that kind of thing. So, um, you know, I think it's again, I, I think when we look at candidates for this position, it's we're also, we have the ability to fall back on this if we're not able to find a candidate. So it's, I think it's a win-win mm -hmm. for us to do that. So that's that's my my opinion on that. <clears throat> Bill? I've, um, as chairman of the budget subcommittee for Frontier, I've never, I, I, I'm very uncomfortable. We've had two budget subcommittee meetings and I'm very uncomfortable with a lack of knowledge that I have on the 22nd or 23rd of January as far as the budget process goes. Both meetings were, the first one was a complete waste of time. Today's was, we had a nice talk. But I'm very uncomfortable with the amount of information that I have to supply because I have the town finance committee and people that they started pecking at you already. Mm -hmm. And before every other year, I've had stuff that we could talk about. I've got, you know, we've got some numbers that are, well, this is going to change and that's going to change and that's going to change. So I haven't got it yet and I haven't put it together yet. I realize this is a new process, but I, this isn't working for me. Bob, I think it's time we have to get somebody in here to know how we're doing. And uh, because uh, I've asked questions about the insurance twice, and, you know, it hasn't been encumbered. We, we, don't, we're, we don't know where we are financially. We have a good idea, but we don't know, simply because things aren't being followed up thoroughly. Do you know if our EED has been certified yet? It's not. Okay. Usually by now our, our EED money has been certified. Wayne, do you have a question? I was wondering, Darius, what your thoughts were. The previous business manager had negotiated a higher rate to take over some HR duties. Is that your plan in this position too? <coughs> have you already assumed those yourself or what's your plan for that? <coughs> um, right now those have been absorbed by other TMS not taking on HR. So they've been absorbed by myself. Um, and I've also had um, office personnel help <coughs> the different areas, kind of dividing up the different things. I'm not sure they really were absorbed, but that was the working theory prior. Right. Um, yeah, so. So it would be a there strict, is a, strict you know, there business is, manager. There is some areas where, um, again, having two people working that administrative type enough. There were some things that the last business manager was able to help teachers with that we now avoid. Um, she knew the retirement system well and was able to give advice and how to access it and the process right now. Um, to be honest, some people were told to give that person a call on the side, you know, to see if they would just, should just help out there. So we don't have that level of expertise in-house to offer that. So that would be a part of HR that is currently missing. Okay. Um, 
Mm -hmm. um, you know, and my two curriculum coordinators have helped out a great deal. They picked up some of more of those conversations and kind of pointed people in the right direction. But that the, the num you know, when people are getting ready to retire, they're lining up their numbers. So if the you know, yeah, um, I would when people that have you need that. When people have any kind of um, chopped up service where they work in different places, it's a it's a lot it's a different kind of math problem. Yeah, and we don't so, so currently we haven't been able to give that um, that help. On that point, is there a job description for this role? There is a job description. <clears throat> um, it hasn't been updated since 05. <laughs> so I imagine that has to be updated prior to the posting mm -hmm. um, to, to match that would be good idea. Are. When, do you, when do you think uh, you would post? Um, I'd love to post by February 1st. You know, um, I have the file on my desk. But that's why I know exactly what the job posting is because I was reviewing it mm -hmm. and you know looking at when the last time it was you know <coughs> was done. So it's all sitting in a file on my desk, waiting for this tonight's decision. Not that I was assuming it was too bad. <laughs> I, I'd like to make sure that uh, we make those corrections uh, in the proposed contract before we offer. So people don't seem to think that they're going to get the same contract that existed prior to the former person who would resign. We need to straighten out the vacation time so that never happens again. And uh, you know, we need to go through it and look at the whole contract and, you know, and do our due diligence. Right. And the work has been underway to, to standardize administrative contracts by so Oh, I, I realize you. that. Well, we got, but. We you want the prorated stuff. We had a new contract that was signed right. after that work was already started. And this one didn't get brought into the line. I'm not blaming anybody. Because I don't think the two people that signed it actually uh, concentrated on it. I'm not blaming them. Because the business manager prepared it and just thought it was right. Um, so I have a question. Do we making up a job description? or compiled job description. Does the um, school committee do that? Or does the superintendent do that and then bring it to us? How does that work? I, I don't know. I mean, we hire the business person on your recommendation, but who compiles the job description? There's a job description there. Do we have to we change it and then vote on it? Do you want it done in 2019 or 2020? <laughs> 2017 would be good. Because <laughs> if you want it done in 2019, let them do it. If no, but I mean, there, there's no precedent. <laughs> but, so what I could do is I could draft up a document, send it to everyone, mm -hmm. no reply all, but you can send me back any feedback and adjustment, and then I can say, adjust that to a final draft and send it out to be voted on in February. We can already, no, can't. we can't post for the job search. <clears throat> um, we can't post without a job but, but you don't have to vote on a job description. There's right. nowhere in the rules to say We also have a, a job template already for administrators, new administrators. Don't well, you're talking about contract versus the, I mean, I have a job description where we have to I'm add a few lines and straight down. Job, job <laughs> description. So yeah. when somebody wants to know if right. this is the right position for me, they just don't but, apply to the 2005 right. and find out. So I would, I would recommend allow me to update the job description. I'll email it out to all of you. You can give any feedback. I give a closing date for feedback and then I'll move forward with the job description. Unless few people feel like they need to vote on the job description, which I don't think it's going to change. I mean, we're going to go off with a general, I'm going to take a general job description and manipulate it to our, to our needs. It's, unless there's something very creative you want to see happen with this. Um, that the whole so the second part of my question is um, <coughs> HR, are, are they going I don't think I understand where we left off with HR. Are we still going, are we going to connect that to our business manager? Are we going to make that a separate position? Because that kind of depends on the applicant, doesn't it? Is that, yeah, but it, it also, I guess, would depend on what are the descriptions of HR is a, you know, it's, it's not a complete HR position. So right. when, you, when you think of HR and corporation, right. if you have a, when one employee has a problem with another employee, they go to HR. They, that, right. they, they don't go to the business manager. Right. In, in a school system, they go with the principals and the, the administrative That's ladder right. that we have. And we have you know contracts and that kind of thing. But HR, you know, I guess we have to look through the job description. Where do we want to add some HR responsibilities? Right. 
you know, right. as we see. Because that it. changes the whole job description to just <coughs> have Sarah yeah, second be doing so HR. Keith said his hand I just wanted to give it the consideration for contract or job description because there's always questions about evaluation of the business manager as well, where that, or how you might work that message in there as well. Okay. Elaine? I don't, I don't know the answer to it. I mean, we, no. can, we can work that in there. Yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's come up before about how do we evaluate the, the business manager. I think it was yeah. sitting when you were asking yeah. about is that our purview or I think this is something I think that it should the be. business manager, who, evalu who exactly evaluates the business manager? It, can the superintendent evaluate, or are they kind of at that level where you're side by side and not up and down? Elaine, Trevor, Bob, would you still have your hand up? I just think it's a rare business manager that has the skills for HR because your your business people, let's not put them in a box or you know whatever, but that is not generally their skill set to deal with HR type issues. Although I get your point about retirement and things, you know, because usually number crunchers are not always got the people skills. Right, and where the business man, I'm sorry, I don't know their hands. I was like yeah. jumping in, but. Um, where the business manager has been helpful is when um, people need help working with insurance. Right. You know, going out on disability and, and need navigating that, which does kind of fall into business manager. Falls into a business manager. You know, um, employee employee conflict or harassment does right. not go to the business manager. Correct. Where it would be in HR. Right. But so there's very defined things there. Just, but those types of things are pretty well set in the contracts as well. I mean, in my job as business manager in the private or the private school sector I was HR so um, I don't know if that speaks to my personality I think it does I actually it. as a psychologist <laughs> I say it does <laughs> um, but you know it's, it's so there is a lot that goes on in regular day-to-day -day operations insurance questions uh, filings for taxes and things like that that really it's a logical extension for the business office to handle those filings and maintaining a lot of that documentation. But to me, that falls under business and administration and conflict resolutions. Right. Absolutely, we have a pretty clear-cut path in the public school sector for where fi people file grievances, and it's usually the superintendent, the principal. I mean, it works its way up the administrative food chain. I mean, I just think of the things stuff. I deal every day as an administrator, you know, people, you know, all, all sorts yeah. of people issues that don't fall in, in number yeah. categories yes. that have nothing to do with numbers or contracts or whatever it has to do with going to detox or, you know, having a family yeah. issue or, you know, the things that come into work that, I agree. you know, that I have nothing to do with their pay or <coughs> benefits or not much to do with that. Trevor, so, so, there's a huge need for HR. Um, I can't speak for Frontier, but how the, how the school system interacts with our town uh, as it relates to AR, uh, HR and employee benefits and all that stuff, um, there, there's a firewall there a bit, and it needs to kind of get broken down a bit. We, we as a town need immense um, HR help as well. And, we're looking at a lot of, uh, we're looking for COG and different ways to regionalize some of that because there's a need immensely at the schools and there's need in town as well. We can't, like, each of us can't really afford it that well, but maybe together regionally we can do some of that. But de definitely as, as things affect you know, our, our elementary schools, and I, I, don't, I can't speak for the other towns, but for Deerfield, it, we really need some more of like the commingling of that. So I know there's a huge need for HR as everything gets more complicated. With insurances and all, so I'm in favor of HR as well. And just because that was that was brought up is that right now there the four towns are talking with one another about putting in together a grant to look at possibly a shared position. Yeah. And whether or not the schools involved with that or not, we're kind of we're, I'm waiting to see how that unfolds. Just yeah. the number of employees we have compared to the town Correct. It changes that position yeah. immensely. It does. It and does so, uh, but I said I was open to. Thank you. Looking so. at it, so but I don't think we're ready. No, not in this not ready for that. We got to no. move forward on this. <clears throat> yep. So are we are we to the point where? Oh yes, we have one I just wanted to ask if we could get information about what other districts are doing. That maybe other similar districts, how they structure this, because 
I would rely on Darius to guide us as to what best practices are, and I don't, I don't know if we've looked at that in the past as to, I mean, this is, <coughs> HR is an important function to make sure we have covered, but I don't know if the school committee could come up with that on our own. Cindy? Um, don't forget we also have a union. I was just so going to say in that. In a sense is the HR for, anyways, the teachers for the and, teacher. the, and the parents. Um, the union is sitting right over there. <laughs> Bob Denzel, I just want to make sure that the trust gets in our hands. Right. Uh, review all the documents, all of this, draw this description, whatever. Just include him in the email to see if there's anything in it that is obviously of concern to him so that we can go make any mistakes and hold down the road. Uh, and Russell also review the contract for Darius also. Once we get that all together, Russ is the one that does up the contract for us and we bring it to him to sign it. So, so just on behalf of Frontier, I'd like to make a motion to do the search for a traditional business manager position. Second. Yeah. And for the union, do we have a motion? Make that motion as well. Make all of these. <laughs> I'll second it. Sorry. Can I just ask about that motion? We need so yeah, what's traditional, the motion? traditional business manager means we are downplaying, and you mentioned in the posting with the HR. No, correct. We focus on number is that right? Is that what you meant by that motion? No, no I, I was no. leaving that to the uh, discretion of our. Uh, yes, yes. Okay, so so see what, see what I'm going to do is I'm going to send out the job description. I'll add any HR stuff that was that we would think would be relevant to it. And then I can give you feedback my way that way. That, that's what people want me to do. I just worry about uh, putting in the HR stuff in a posting that will turn off really good number crunchers that we may miss because we need a, a number cruncher first and foremost. And the HR discussion seems to be something that's going to evolve here. Scare people away. And, so, and, 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 or, and or scare people away. I mean, we really need a number cruncher. So I think I don't want to dilute that message in the posting. Could I just, if, in terms of the motion, if we said to decide to conduct a traditional search for the business manager position instead of a conduct a search for the traditional business manager position. <laughs> or just conduct a search. Judy's got a question, hold on. I have one comment and one question. Uh, my comment is, can't you just put in a blurb about preferred candidates would have experience with HR processes such as, you know, that way you, if you, you can throw the, cast out the net for the unicorn, and if you get them, great, and if you don't, oh well, because you've listed all the other things in the requirements, like all the number crunching things that we always have. Right. Like that's yeah. that's our most important thing is the number crunching. Right. Yeah. Require well, that you don't have to even use HR. You can save. Um, should have um, available information on insurance processes, and you know, so you don't have to use the word HR. Yes. Yeah. That's a knowledge. Exactly. And any other duties related there to <laughs> and my um, question is, what is the motion? Because I have the motion listed as um, to post the business manager effect position effective February 1st, 2019. Perfect. Sounds good. Okay, Excellent. great. Thank you. Thank you. That's still set. That's still set. That's what you're saying. Okay. Yeah, you For Frontier, all in favor? And we'll go. For the union, just everyone. We'll <laughs> go from there. I can always dilute the. Uh, Water. We get the hands up one more time. I'm going to get yeah, some Thank you. Phil voted. He just didn't know either. Does anybody else want to add a little tidbit tonight about anything? <laughs> You're here? <laughs> the not, some of us still ever. have another meeting. Motion to adjourn for the region. All in favor? For Frontier? <laughs> I'm not going to break the streak. I'll make a motion for the <laughs> <laughs> Longest running streak of the night. And do we have a second? I mean, it's Elaine. Oh, Elaine. Jeez, back on the game. All in favor. Everybody. Yeah. Thank you.